Let's talk about representing angles on the coordinate plane by discussing some key concepts. First, initial ray and terminal ray are related for measuring angles on a coordinate plane. All angles on a coordinate plane will have a vertex at the origin and like all angles are defined by two rays. When measuring angles on a coordinate plane, the direction that the angle is measured in is important. And that's usually symbolized with an arc with an arrowhead at the end of it. And the place where the, that arc begins is called the initial ray. You can think of this as where the angle starts. And the terminal ray, you can think of as where the angle ends. Now, an angle on the coordinate plane is said to be in standard position if the initial ray is the x-axis. And when, when you'll, you see angles on the coordinate plane, they'll almost always be in standard position, which means their initial ray is the x-axis, and the terminal ray could be anywhere around the entire coordinate plane. You'll usually see the arrowhead that represents the direction of the angle starting on the x-axis, and here it's going up to form about a 30-degree angle. Now, if an angle is in standard position, realize that all that it takes to define an angle is an ordered pair. For example, if I say draw the angle in standard position whose terminal ray passes through the point 3, 3. Well, the point 3, 3 located in the first quadrant, if I would draw a ray from the origin going through the point 3, 3, there's only one angle in standard position that goes through the point 3, 3, whose terminal ray goes through the point 3, 3, and it's this angle, the angle represented with this arrow. If I would say, draw the angle in standard position whose terminal ray passes through negative 3, 3, well, here's the point negative 3, 3, and if the angle is in standard position, that means it starts on the x-axis, and the terminal ray, the initial ray is the x-axis, and the terminal ray passes through 3, negative 3. So that is this angle. It's an obtuse angle. It measures maybe 100 degrees. You actually could use trigonometry to find its exact measure if you knew a point on the terminal side of the angle. So when an angle is measured, when an angle is in standard position, an ordered pair is enough information to define that angle. Angles on the coordinate plane can be negative. If you're physically measuring an angle or considering an angle that's part of a triangle, negative angles don't make sense. But on the coordinate plane, they do. Every angle that I talk about from here on out will be in standard position and like I said earlier, almost all angles measured on the coordinate plane will be. A positive angle is an angle that looks like this. We'll say that this is a 20 degree angle. An angle that starts on the x-axis and moves up or counterclockwise around the coordinate plane. On the other hand, a negative angle would be an angle that looks like this, that starts at the x-axis and moves down and around in a clockwise direction around the coordinate plane. Maybe this angle is negative 25 degrees. A negative angle begins at the x-axis and moves down and around the coordinate plane in a clockwise fashion. When measuring angles on the coordinate plane, not only do negative angles make sense, but so do angles that are greater than 360 degrees. Measuring a 360 degree angle on the coordinate plane in standard position would look like this. A 360 degree angle on the coordinate plane has the same initial ray and ending point terminal ray. This is a 360 degree angle. If I would want to represent a 370 degree angle, the terminal ray would be about would be exactly 10 degrees above the x-axis but when I go ahead and write the notation for the way that the angle travels around the coordinate plane it would look like this 
This is a representation of a 370 degree angle. Assuming that the distance from the x-axis up to the terminal ray is 10 degrees, this angle is 370 degrees. When representing angles on the coordinate plane, angles can be negative or greater than 360. Angles can also be defined by their quadrant. And basically that depends on where the terminal ray is. If the terminal ray passes through the first quadrant, you would say that that angle in standard position is a first quadrant angle. If the terminal ray is in the second or the third quadrant, like perhaps a 200 degree angle would be, you would say that angle is in the third quadrant. This applies to negative angles as well. An angle of negative 20 degrees is in the fourth quadrant. An angle of positive 300 degrees, also in the fourth quadrant. An angle can be defined on the coordinate plane by a quadrant, and that quadrant is where the terminal ray is located. And the final thing we'll discuss is coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are two angles that have the same terminal ray. For example, I'll attempt to draw a 20 degree angle. Let's say that this angle is 20 degrees. A 20 degree angle is coterminal with an angle measuring 380 degrees. Here's why. I'll draw that same exact terminal ray, but instead of just starting at the x-axis and going up to that angle and stopping, going up to that terminal ray and stopping, what if I symbolize that this angle travels the whole way around the coordinate plane before ending at that same terminal ray? This is a 360 degrees plus 20 more, 380 degree angle. An angle of 20 degrees and an angle of 380 degrees are said to be coterminal. They have exactly the same terminal ray. Every angle on the coordinate plane actually has an infinite number of coterminal angles. I'll draw a third angle that is coterminal with 20 and 380, and that's where we'll end. So a third angle that would be coterminal with the 20 degree angle that I started with, and then the 380 degree angle that I drew next would be a negative angle starting at the x-axis and traveling down and around the coordinate plane clockwise, this angle would be negative 340 degrees. It has the same terminal ray as a 20 degree angle, and it has the same terminal ray as a 380 degree angle. All three of those angles are coterminal. When measuring angles in degrees, coterminal angles are 360 degrees apart. And that concludes our discussion on some key concepts that apply when measuring angles on the coordinate plane.